What's up guys, it's your boy Damon and welcome back to another episode video. Today we're going to be talking about the patch prediction. Except this week it's a little bit dry, right? Because of the fact that we pretty much already know what's coming. Now the question is with the patch prediction, is the content Melissa going to be coming this week or next? Now I know the knee jerk response is going to be, well obviously Luna Banner lasts for another week so it's going to come after that. But... But, but, hear me out here. Just just humor me on this. Now, I'm still kind of betting on it to come in two weeks, right? So, I'm prepared, fully prepared. Got other stuff to play, other things to do. Got my farming schedule mapped out. But what if, what if, Melissa actually comes this week with the teased artifact that some people have been talking about, but some people might not know about. So, uh, first and foremost, before we get into this, Euphine Throwaway shouts to, to this guy for or gal for doing the data mines um, in Butt Reynolds' place. Uh, the actual data mines and stuff, or the, the info comes now in the middle of the night for Butt Reynolds. So, Butt Reynolds is, I guess, passing the torch here. So, Euphine Throwaway's been handling the business, okay? So, uh, shouts out to Butt Reynolds, of course, the OG data mine. But when we look at his kind of partial addition to the data that he added, he talked about out a couple of things here he showed uh, the model for melissa okay he showed some npc rips but which we're going to go over here we're going to talk about some bonus content and we're also going to look at the other artifact okay so when you look at this this is just the bonus content that was revealed if you guys are wondering how i got the screenshot for the you know for my girl francesca even though she didn't come out shout out to bun reynolds for the data rips okay now this is some other concept art um which could be a teaser for the future because if you guys see this this is actually uh, a drawing of king aether like a grown-up king aether which could be a thing uh this is also king aether here so uh maybe kid king aether and if you guys remember back to chapter one king aether was actually there and if you think back to the sprite sheet the same sprite sheet that melissa was on uh i think the third row up from the bottom king aether sprite was also there as well so we could be seeing an aether specialty change soon now when i have no idea but it would make sense because since we're moving through the episodes that aether would get older right so uh, that could be something on the horizon now when i have no idea but you know something to think about okay and then when we get into this last piece here i really wanted to get into this artifact and this is why i'm saying this could be something that could be happening soon or it could be a build-up event that leads into this event to get this artifact. If you guys are wondering why Raz is holding a bottle of champagne and Yuna looks like she's getting ready to turn up and Aether looks like he's already turned up, like he's just already turned, just on the lean, right? So if you guys are wondering um, why this artifact is here, it's because this week is literally the one-year global anniversary. So if you guys are looking at the calendar here, uh, you guys have uh, on the 8th is the one year anniversary for global. So chances are this artifact will probably be here this week. Now, the question is whether or not Melissa is going to be paired with that artifact, especially since we got the data mine so early. Right. Because normally, like they don't add characters until like, you know, a week prior, technically, other than the ML heroes, because like the ML heroes, obviously, they add them to the game two weeks prior. And then we can actually so we can actually see them in the game. But I don't know if that's going to be the case this week for the for the patch prediction, because it's kind of up in the air. And the reason I say that is because you guys would be like, well, oh, you know, it's Luna. You know, she's a limited banner. They're not going to run double banners, which makes sense, you know, because I'm again, I'm not expecting uh, Melissa this week. I mean, I'm hoping she's this week. Like if she's this week, I wouldn't be surprised. But, you know, I'm still expecting her to be like next week. But at the same time, you guys got to understand that Luna is no matter how many times they run her, she's still a rerun. This is the fourth time, third time fourth time third time they've ran luna so with that the only thing that's really exclusive about her is the artifact right the draco plate and since everybody has the opportunity to get the draco plate in story it's kind of the last week of the side story so they could easily roll another side story now especially since it's the one year anniversary which could easily be another three week anniversary for filler right so they could run a three week you know global anniversary or two week anniversary or whatever for farming you know whatever this new artifact is hold on let me pull this up real quick this new artifact uh, maybe the farming could start this week and it could easily be you know chain into maybe melissa next week right or melissa could potentially be this week with the artifact being available to farm this week too as well so 
Um, all in all, I don't think anything too crazy. I'm, I'm super excited in anticipation waiting for Melissa. I think Melissa's going to be cool. I'm kind of super chilling. Been really, really praying for some new content. Uh, well, new something. And Melissa, I think, will answer that call. And then if Melissa, whether she comes out this week or next week, we will definitely get into it. I will six-star her immediately. I will be farming fire runes all day tomorrow to make sure that I have the mats that are necessary uh, to finish her awakening and stuff uh, so we can get her done because I think she's going to be really, really dope, especially with that um, ignore element advantage on her S3. So it's going to be super-duper cool. So this week, like I said, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. I think it's mostly just going to have to do with the event that's coming, you know, for the global, whatever they plan to do, especially since we're getting a new artifact here. And maybe they'll tie in together. Melissa could be this week, like I said, but potentially it'll most likely be next week. But we'll just have to see how that's going to pan out. Also, uh, we got to get ready for the camping editions. So if they do camping editions this week, so if they do the camping edition voice lines this week, first week of November, um, then that could be something unless, you know, because a lot of the stuff for the November update, they implicitly stated that a lot of them were going to be at the end of the end of the month. So we might have to wait till then. And if that is the case, if we are waiting to the end of the month for quality of life improvements, that raises the odds that Melissa could be potentially this week because then that would basically buy them two weeks of float time uh, because then Melissa Banner would run with, of course, the event for the, uh, you know, one year anniversary, global anniversary. And then they could just peel right into, you know, the content. So I don't know. Um, we'll have to see how this pans out. I'm praying that Melissa comes this week again, although based on everything that they've done before and then how they stopped doing double banners back in the day. Um, she'll probably most likely be next week, but we, I definitely, 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 definitely am betting on we will see something for the global anniversary this week, whatever that's going to be, whether that's just an artifact, whether that's going to be a, a, another side story or an event or something like that. I guarantee you that we'll see something to do with this artifact this week. So anyway, guys, uh, just a quick patch prediction video today. Nothing too crazy. Um, if you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know in the comment box below. Also, let me know what you guys think. What's your prediction for this week? Let me know in the comment box below because uh, I'd be interested to see those as well. But uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, it's your boy, Damone, and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.